Ball State Sacred Heart Irish uh, with Coach Luke Santo and players double zero Rachel Magdance and number 24 Arison Bonderschmidt. Coach Santo, if you would start with some general comments about the game and, and the title. Oh, it was it was a rough one. Um, you know, just all those plays kind of run through your head. But uh, you know, I thought the whole first half of our defense was really good, and we were getting a lot of stops. I was just kind of frustrated that, you know, down on the offensive end, we weren't scoring like we needed to. Uh, we got a lot of looks around the rim, and they just weren't falling. Like, layups around the rim, they weren't falling. And I felt like we were kind of hanging, you know, letting them hang around. We've seen uh, them do that to teams. So we just talked about, you know, trying to be stronger, finishing, you know, at halftime. You know, and then the third quarter, I thought we came out a little bit tidy. Uh, had a couple turnovers, I think, that led to, uh, you know, them closing that margin, and then we lost the lead, actually. Uh, but, you know, just thankfully, I think we had a nice little run there at the end of the third quarter and, and got a couple buckets there to start the fourth and got some separation there and took some of that game pressure off of us. Questions? Uh, Rachel, uh, for you, how important was it to bounce back after your injury last year and just why not? To, to not only bounce back, but I think you had 14 points tonight and to finish your basketball career with the championship? Um, it was definitely important. You know, it was really tough last year not being able, being able to play in the championship. But um, after that, I was pretty motivated that we wanted to get back to Pinnacle as our ultimate goal. And I think after we lost in the championship last year, it motivated us a lot. And I, de I didn't get to play in the summer, but I could tell our girls were motivated. And then throughout this season, I had a good feeling about where we were going to finish at. Uh, Coach, you want to talk about Rachel and Olivia down the stretch? I mean, they scored. It seemed like every bucket they laid for you. I mean, you did. Yeah, when we went on that little run, <laughs> our offense wasn't very good there in that third quarter, so we just tried to spread them out more. Uh, we tried to bring the Strickland girl out and, and 50 out a little bit and, and just try to set some ball screens up there and just get some more space for, uh, for Rachel and for Olivia to you know, just get some room in there to get to the rim. And then we finally made some of those those layups that we've been missing. So, uh, you know, it's tight there. You know, when you feel that game pressure and it's close there to, to get some of those layups to go and stretch that lead to five to seven to eight or nine, whatever it was, you know, that put that pressure on them. Um, and then, you know, we were just fortunate to, to make free throws and get some stops down there. Harrison, the volleyball basketball sweep. How sweet is that? Um, I mean, it's amazing. I've been, we've been waiting for it year and I think this year was definitely our time to improve. We worked really, really hard to get here and we got a lot of done and then we focused on basketball. I mean, one sport at a time, one game at a time and I think we did amazing at that. Clark, is there one more satisfying than the other, the volleyball or the basketball? Um, <laughs> I love I love both a lot. You all heard my feelings. <laughs> uh, really, I really love both the same. I couldn't say. Yeah. Coach, we kind of talked about this earlier, but uh, this class has been close, but they haven't got there. And I know as coming in as freshmen, expectations were high. How does it feel to you to finally have them win this season? Oh, I'm just so happy for them. And you're exactly right. I mean, even back in grade school, when these guys were coming up, I mean, you could just see that it's going to be a talented, talented group. And in junior high, you know, they were winning, you know, pretty much everything. And then boom, you know, you're freshman, you're kind of saddled with those expectations. And it's tough, you know, uh, their freshman year, uh, we got here, uh, you know, and lost in a close one. Sophomore year, they lost in the semis, you know, the old why not, you know, and then last year we,